Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. In today's video, I'm going to be coloring these silver roots for you right here at home. Check out these roots. They are so silver. They're practically white. In some lights, they're actually like a hint of blue, but I've been growing them out for about a month and a half now because I wanted to make this video for you. Now, I did want to mention this video is in collaboration with Revlon. They are sponsoring this video. You guys, this collaboration was a no brainer for me. If you go back in my videos and you go back as far as seven years when I made my first video um, showing you guys how I color my hair at home, I was using Revlon Color Silk. If you watch every other video that I've made since then on my channel, I think there's like four or five where I've been coloring my hair at home, I have been using Revlon Color Silk. So this collaboration, I'm telling you, it was literally like a creator's dream to get an opportunity to work with a company who makes a product that you've already been using for 10 plus years because I was using this before you know I even came to YouTube like I said it was just a no-brainer and so I'm so happy to bring this video to you guys I'm so thankful to Revlon for sponsoring this video and so yeah let's go ahead and jump in okay so this right here is the color that I'm gonna be using today this is the 70 medium ash blonde now I kind of alternate with the medium ash blonde and the dark ash blonde. It just kind of depends on what I'm going for at the moment. Right now, my hair is so blonde and we're approaching spring. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with a lighter root. Now this says it has 100% gray coverage. We are definitely gonna be putting that to the test because Lord knows I have my fair share of gray hair. And it also says that it's ammonia free and it includes keratin. So you're actually nourishing your hair as you're coloring it. So it leaves your hair in better condition after coloring because of the keratin. Um, it's also a no mess, no drip formula. Now I'm gonna be applying it a little bit differently. I'm gonna be brushing it on rather than using the applicator, but I will show you how the instructions tell you to use it, but, um, but I am gonna use it a little bit differently. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. I really wanna get rid of these silver roots. Y'all, the color always comes out so beautiful. It's such a vibrant, such a you know multi-dimensional color, and I just feel so much more confident when I don't have silver roots peeking out or any color roots you know if if my hair was all silver i would feel more confident but just to have roots showing you know it just doesn't it makes me feel undone you know and i just don't feel confident whenever you feel confident you just behave differently right you feel like you could just go out there and make your move you know so anyway let's go ahead and jump in let me color these roots and gain my confidence back okay so according to the instructions the first thing you're supposed to do is you're supposed to snip the tip of your developer. Then you're supposed to pour your colorant into your developer and then put your gloved finger over the top and shake it all together. I'm gonna go ahead and shake it together, but I'm not gonna um, snip the top because I'm gonna apply it a little bit differently. So all you have to do is pour your colorant into your developer, just like that. Then you put your cap back on and then you just shake it up really really good now if I were applying it the way the instructions say to apply it I would um, you know dispense some of the mixed color and developer onto my hair and just kind of manipulate it with my gloved fingers however I am gonna do it a little bit differently I'm actually gonna pour all the contents of my you know developer and colorant into this mixing bowl and I'm gonna mix it and I'm gonna apply it with a brush I just find it to be a little bit easier and so yeah so I take everything that I've just mixed and I just dump it all into this mixing bowl. Now I have two brushes here. I have a big one and a little one. And the little one I just kind of like to use around my sideburns and stuff like that. I feel like I use the big one for everything else, but for whatever reason, I wanna be really particular about that. That's where my color, that's where my silver hair is the most resistant. So I always start where my hair is the most resistant. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to use the little one to get these sideburns here. I guess I'm going to go ahead and just use this little one all along the front of my, the front of my hair. I want to be pretty precise. I don't want to go too far past my roots. I mean, I want to just go past my roots far enough so that it blends really nicely. Um, but I don't want to go too far. The wonderful thing about starting with silver hair is that it's like starting with a blank 
canvas. Um, whatever color I see on the box, especially if it's in the, you know, blonde to light brown family, that is exactly what I'm going to get because I'm just coloring over, like I said, a blank canvas. Now, I did want to show you that it does have these little color swatches on the side. So, you know, whatever you're starting with, that's going to be your result whenever you use this color. So, and it's pretty accurate. Now, I always start where I part my hair because that's going to be, you know, the part that's most visible to everyone. And, and I just try to go back as far as I can as I can reach, you know, sometimes whenever you're doing your hair at home, you really have to be, become quite a contortionist, especially when you're trying to get the back, because of course, you know, you want it to look even. And so I just kind of go down as far as I can with it and color that also. Now I did want to show you that my hair in the back is quite a bit darker. Like I don't, it's not as solid silver as it is in the front. So as you can see, the color takes it to this pretty like darker blonde um, because it's coloring my dark hair and my white hair. So the white hair ends up looking like, um, kind of like highlights. And then the dark hair just, it just, you know, lightens up a little bit. You see how when I get to the sides here, I really just try to go back as far as I can. And let me show you. Sometimes I do get it on my ear and stuff. <laughs> and then it just washes out. I mean, it might take one, really one shower to just come off. Um, wow, check out how white that is. Dang. like a rocker chick right now <laughs> it's kind of cute though okay let's flip it and we're gonna do the other side now I can see that you know it's staining my um, skin just a little bit like I said after I wash it it seems to just go away with the wash somehow um, it just doesn't like stick to your skin as well as it does your hair apparently So I got it on all of my roots and I can already tell that this color is going to just be so perfect. It always looks really dark, especially when it gets towards the end of your processing period. Um, but then you're so surprised when you wash it out and dry it that it really lightens up and it blends so perfectly with my blonde hair. Now the instructions say that you're supposed to leave this on for 25 minutes. Um, however, if you have resistant gray hair, you're supposed to leave it on for 35 minutes. Now I'm definitely gonna be leaving it on for 35 minutes minimum. Okay, so I have washed and dried and styled my hair and this is the final look. Um, I feel like it came out perfectly for me. Now I personally love a slightly darker root, as you can tell. Obviously, I chose a color that's a couple shades darker than my blonde hair down here, but I just prefer that. And um, as you can see, it's extra dark right in here because that's, you know, if you remember, I that's where I put my color on first. This area is so resistant, and so I like it to sit there as long as possible. Now, I feel like there's something that's really important to note just in case you want to, you know, do your hair at home like I did. It took me about 15 minutes to apply all of the color to my roots. If you remember, I applied it to the frame of my face first. So while I'm applying it to my roots, it's just sitting, you know, on the hair right around my face. So it's processing the longest. So right after I finish applying it to my roots, I set a timer for about 10 or 15 minutes. Once that timer goes off, I take this little portion right from here to here and I pull some of the bangs forward and I wash them out because I don't want it to process too long in that area because I really like to keep my bangs a little bit lighter um, 
I just, I don't know, it's just a personal preference. I do, however, leave it there the entire duration because that is where my silver is the most resistant. So as you can see, it's slightly darker here than it is here. Now, one thing that I do know because I've done this so many times is that although it looks kind of dark right away, I also know that within two or three washes, that color is going to lighten and it's gonna end up, you know, very similar to this color. Like all this color down here is just my roots having grown out. You know, occasionally I will throw in a couple of highlights here and there, but for the most part, it's just that having grown out. So I know the process. Um, so I did want to mention that because you could probably tell that it's just a little bit lighter there. But everywhere else, y'all, let me just show you what a perfect seamless transition there is. Isn't that so perfect? It is such a beautiful color, even though it's a couple shades darker than my hair, it seems to just blend so perfectly. And if I go like this and just pull it up like this, look at that. Look what a beautiful color that is. Isn't that so pretty? I feel like it just goes so perfectly with this really blonde hair down here. Now, as you can see, you see right there how there's still a little slight line of demarcation. If I were to leave that in the full duration, it would be a really strong one. And there are ways to prevent that. Like I could, I could leave it in almost to the duration and then 10 minutes before just kind of comb it through a little bit, but then it'll darken up my bang area just a little bit. And I do not want to do that. So instead I just wash it out, you know, a little earlier and it still seems to, you know, keep my gray, my grays covered. So, but the best part about it is that I literally save like hundreds of dollars every month, <laughs> thousands every year, right? Because I'm doing it at home and I just love the way it turns out. So that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for being here. I always appreciate your time. Thank you so much to Revlon for sponsoring this video. I hope you are all having a fantastic weekend and hopefully I will see you back here next week. <laughs>